Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay, work is how much force is, exer is exerted on an object times the displacement it moves in the direction of the force. So it's how much force exerted. So the force that I put on something, the force pushing it. Whoop, hey, hey. The force you push on something times the displacement, how far it moves. Um, ooh, this is important. In the direction of the force. Yeah. So force this way, direction this way. Okay. Um, so here is another way to look at that. Those were words for the definition that we're gonna we're gonna roll with. Here is the uh, equation, um, and it says that work equals force times displacement. Our units are uh, newton meters. Uh, uh, our newton meters, newtons and meters, and that means that well, that is a joule, a joule. So um, newton and meter. And when we when I ask you to find work for me, your answer could be a newton meter or a joule. Yep, it's a, called a derived unit. Yes. It's made out of a combination of other things. Yes. Newtons okay. times meters. You, yes you, um, can do work against gravity, and gravity can do work, uh, can do uh, work against you. Sure. Um, and uh, here is our uh, equation for the force of gravity, mass times gravity, um, the acceleration due to gravity, um, and it goes both ways, right? Um, I want you guys to uh, pause the video here. I want you to go to page 227 and um, take a look at numbers one through five. Do them in your uh, in your notebook. Um, and I'm actually so I want you to pause the video, do this, and then come back to the video. Okay, let's take a look at some of these practice problems. So we'll start with number one. Um, a student lifts a box of books that weighs 185 newtons. The box is lifted 0.8 meters. How much work does a student do on the box? Okay, let's draw a diagram first, see what's going on here. So it starts off um, on the ground. We're just going to go on the ground. And it weighs 185 newtons. So the force is, I'm oh, sorry, uh, yeah, 185 newtons. And that's down. Yeah, down. So it's like this. Yep. Okay, um, the box is lifted 0.8 meters, so it's lifted. Oh. Pause. Pause. Here. Is it timing? We're, we're working. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. What right. is this? Exclu excuse that brief interruption. Okay, so um, it says it is lifted. Okay, so we're lifting it this direction, and we're lifting it 0.8 meters. Um, how much work does it do? Okay, well, um, we want another work, right? What was our equation for work? Force times displacement in the direction of the force. Okay, so we want the force and with the force and displacement, force and displacement. We want them to be in the same direction. Well, well, if you're lifting up, what direction are you exerting your force? If I'm lifting <clears throat> this book up, the force is up. That's right. Right. So our force is up. That checks out, and our displacement is up too, right? Yep. That checks out. So let's go ahead and just plug it in here. So work equals force, which is 185 newtons, times my displacement, which is 0.8 meters. Calculator. 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 Where's the calculator? No, to your left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you have your calculator? Thank you. Okay, 185 times 0.8, and I get 148 newton meters, or joules. joules. Okay. Um, Let's see, which one should I do next? Two, three, four, or... Speak up, boys five. and girls. Let's do... Want to do number three? Number three sounds number like a good three. one. Okay. Number three says, a point, uh, one eight 0.180 kilogram ball Falls 2.5 meters. How much work does the force of gravity do on the ball? Okay, so let's draw what we got here. So we have uh, a ball that is 100, sorry, 0 0.180 kilograms, and it falls, it's falling this direction 2.5 meters. Okay, so the displacement is down, sweet. 
How much work does the force of gravity do on it? Which direction is the force of gravity? It is always down. It's always down. Okay, so our force and displacement are in the same direction. That checks out. And we're trying to figure out the work, right? Yeah. How it, much work? So we don't have a force. We've got a mass, we but don't we don't have, have the force. The force. So how can we figure out what the force is? Well, that's just the weight. The force is just the weight. So we can do our mass times... Uh, times the gravity, right? Acceleration due to gravity. Yeah, okay, so my mass is 0 0.180 kilograms times um, negative 9.80. 9 9 8 8 um, okay, 0 0.180 times negative 9.80, and I get my force is going to be a negative 1. Point, I'm just going to call it 1.8 newtons. Oh, and this is really important. My displacement. Because we're going down, if we think about this as a x and y coordinate system, yep. right? This should also be negative. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so work equals negative 1.8 newtons times negative 2.5 meters. Negative 1.8 times negative 2.5 equals. Okay, I get 4.5. What? Joules. All right. Okay, so you guys get the point, right? They can ask questions in class if they have other ones. So finish the rest of those. Um, it shouldn't take you too long, hopefully. Um, and oh, let's move right along here. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Mousey. There you are. Okay. Um, what if the force and displacement are not in the same direction? We got this lawnmower over here. Let's take a look at the lawnmower. Y'all have a good one. So we've got this lawnmower, um, and when you push the lawnmower, actually, let me draw a picture for you guys. There's a picture in there, but let's draw it, okay? So when you're pushing the lawnmower, you push it along the ground, right? Yep. We'll call this our displacement, and we're going this way. Um, now, when you push it, you're pushing it at an angle, right? Just like in the picture here, and we can make up a number. Let's say we're pushing with 100 newtons, whatever. It's our force. Yeah. Now, uh, the force that you're pushing, it has two components to it. Think about our triangles. It has a force that's going straight down, and it also has a force that's going um, across in the X direction. Yeah, so y when you're X. pushing on that handle, some of the force is pushing it forward, and some of it is pushing it down into the ground. Now, these are both forces. This is in the X direction, this is in the Y direction, and so we can literally break up this force into two components. Yep. Now, uh, it says, what if the force and displacement are not in the same direction? Well, which one of these forces is actually doing work? Well, the one pushing it down into the ground ain't doing no work. It's not going down into the ground. It's going across the ground. Exactly. This is going down, and our displacement is this way. It doesn't work for us. Nope. But this one is, this force is this way. That displacement is that way. We're in, we're in a good place. Sweet. Where, oh, are you, you have all the way from working. <laughs> well, this... It, this had, we're, we're using an iPad instead of an iPhone, so it's yeah. got a different aspect ratio. Uh, Miss, Miss Moore, uh, she's having iPhone issues with her storage. Anyways, it's a struggle. Okay, um, work equals the force times the component of the displacement in the direction of the force. Wait, what? Huh? There's you got all those words. Work equals the force times the displacement in the direction of the force. Let's talk about this cosine theta thing. What does that mean? Look, should we use the ball? Uh, yes, that's a great idea. Okay, so, um, oh, soccer ball. Um, my first question for you guys is, what is the direction um, of, oh, pause for a second. <laughs> okay, so, uh, sorry, we got someone at the door. Um, so my first question is, what is the direction of the force as I lift the ball up? Well, it's gotta be up. All right, I'm putting a force on it up, okay? Now, what is the direction of the displacement as I lift the ball up? Well, duh, that's up. Okay, so um, we have uh, the force and displacement. Or, oh, actually, I can use the... What's the, what's the angle? We have my force this way, and we have the displacement this way. What's the angle between up and up? That's silly. It's zero. It's zero, right? So what is the cosine... Cosine of zero. Put it in the calculator. Grab Check your it. calculator, put in a cosine of zero. What do you get? And the answer is one. Positive one. You should get a positive one, and the positive is what is important. So that means that our work is going to be positive. positive okay. Now let's talk about um, if I start with the ball up here, 
and I move my hand, move my hand down holding the ball. What direction is the horse? Uh, down. Oh, no. wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I am still holding the ball up, right? Oh, you're so it has to be up, or you're going to drop the ball. Exactly, the force is still up, but this time, what direction is, whoa, <laughs> is my displacement? It's down. It's down, right? So force is up, direction is down. What is that? What is that degree right there? It's 180 degrees 180 between up and degrees. down. From here to here. So what is the cosine of cosine of 180? Put it in your calculator. Don't wait. Do it now. Check it out. Do it. Do it. What do you get? Should be negative one. Negative one. So that means that if the force and the displacement are in opposite directions, my work is going to be negative. Negative work, and if they're in the same direction, it's positive work. Okay. What other possibilities are there, Miss Moore? Well, what if I hold the ball just like this, and instead of moving um, up or down, instead I move forward? Well, what's the direction of the force? Well, the direction of the force is still up. What direction is my displacement? Horizontal. Horizontal. What degree is that? That's 90 degrees right there. 90 degrees. What's the cosine of 90? Put it in your calculator, ladies and gentlemen. Do it, do it now. Do it, do it, do it. Need it's more used to be a basketball player. <laughs> and quite the good one. Too bad there's no air in that ball. Yeah. The cosine of 90 degrees is? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Um, so what does that mean? That means that when we, um, if, uh, when we, when we move horizontally, if the work what am I trying to say here? You're doing zero work. Even though you're exerting a force, even though you're getting tired, if the force and the displacement are perpendicular, perpendicular by one. definition, the work is zero. You're not doing it. You're getting tired, but you're not doing any work. That sucks. By okay. definition. Um, yeah, perpendicular. That's what I'm looking for. So, and this is only when the forces are not in the same direction. That's right. Okay. Um, if the force and displacement are in opposite directions, the work is negative. Attention staff, <laughs> cameras are all set up in the gymnasium. Please go and take your ID picture. Oh. Again, I'll go do that later. <laughs> We're busy. Um, okay, so I think that's all we got, right? We can... I think so. Okay, if you have not finished those questions, do those now. Okay, so I am going to do work uh, right now, and I, I want you guys to be thinking about um, the, the direction of the force and the direction of the displacement as I do work. Um, I am going to exert a force on the chair. I'm going to step up here. Okay, my question for you guys is, well, first of all, what direction is my displacement? It's up. It's up, right? And so I can measure out my uh, displacement. Okay, put this here, um, and oh, actually, put it here. Sorry. Well, no, you you go ahead and measure it up to the counter. Um, I stuck the one on the chair. Though. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I know. Good point. That's a good point. Okay, okay. So it's about uh, 0. 0.45 meters. 0. 0.45 meters, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 0.45 meters. Now, um, in the direction, the direction of this place was up. Yeah. What direction is the force that I'm exerting on the chair? Well, you're pushing down on the chair, but you're going up. How's it you're going up if you're pushing down? So although I am pushing down on the chair, my muscles are pushing me up. So the direction I force is I am going up. That's true. So uh, if our force and our, and our displacement are in the same direction, that means we have a cosine of zero, which gives me a positive work. Right. So my work here is going to be positive. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what, what I want you to do is the exact same thing. Um, if you are in the classroom, my hope is that I have these meter sticks out for you guys. Is I want you to measure your chair, which should be about 0.45 meters. Um, and if you aren't in the classroom, find a chair of similar size, something of similar size. Do the best you can. Um, this is about 0.45 meters, like I said. Um, and Miss, but Miss Moore, Miss Moore, how do I find the force? Well, what things are involved with the force? What do we need? Well, we need the acceleration into gravity, which is always... Well, you're doing work against gravity, so you need the force of gravity that you're doing work against. How can you get that? Well, the force of gravity that you're doing work against, work against can't you just do your mass times, your times the acceleration into gravity? Oh, that's it. That's it. So that's that all there means, is to it. That means you need to know your mass. Yeah. Uh, I think I am uh, 68 kilograms? 65. Let's call it 65. 65 kilograms. 
And uh, the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So you would do the same thing, but with your, with your um, mass in kilograms. Um, and then, should I, should I go ahead and write it out for them? Well, I'll show them just how to do, do it. it yours. Yeah, just find out what yours okay, is. Okay, so uh, my uh, mass, my, my force of gravity down would be 65 kilograms times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So mine, my force, uh, my, my force would be negative 637 newtons. Now they should have this in their notes. They've already done it for themselves, so they should do it for themselves using the work this. you've already done. So the question that I have for you guys is, what would be the work that you do on the chair? So the work that I do would be uh, 637 newtons, because my force is going up. Times, 637 yeah. newtons times, not negative, positive, times uh, 0.45, right? Meters, as well, I go up. What, how much is that? Let's do it. So 637 times 45, and I get, that's a lot of joules. Should be 0.45, isn't it? Oh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. 45 meters is like uh, that's... somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> that's more like it. 287 joules of work. That's how much work I'm doing. How much work are you doing? Sweet. <laughs>